This is the third video of the fundamentals of DTM for release 1.3. In this video, we're going to be going over how to create a single device, multiple devices at once, and how to do an import substation, which is very helpful for 61850. To add a single device, you'll go to the workspace, right click, manage, add, the protocol of your choice, I'm going to choose DNP3, and then the master or outstation option. I'm going to choose outstation. The configuration window has multiple tabs and we'll address each of them in detail. The first tab will decide where the device is going to be simulated. You can see in my network tab in the background here that I only have one machine as the master and one host. So it will default to that host on that master. If I decided I'd rather create it on a new host, I can always click New Host on in Green PC. We also have the device name, which we have defaulted to SDNP. You can change that if you'd like. In the Channel tab, this will affect its behavior and configurations for connections. 0.0.0 Any Adapter is a setting we have for a local address that allows any device or master looking for this specific outstation to connect. If you'd like to make it more specific, you can choose a specific IP address and adapter it will only communicate on. The remote address is the address it's expecting to get communication from. Again, by default, we leave it at its most generic star dot star dot star dot star to allow it to connect to any device that is specifically looking for it. For DNP, the outstation port is 20,000, so we'll leave it there. But if you'd like to play around with it, you can change the port number as well. We also have a sessions tab where for DNP you can change the source and destination, but we've also left it as the default here. In the database tab, this is where you can change what the database of your specific device has. Um, we do, again, have a default that we normally set it to, but if you'd like to change that, you can click Reset Database and create whatever sort of database you'd like to match your device. So if I clicked OK right now, it would go ahead and make one device. Let's see that. Now, as you can see, I said on New Host, it created a new host, DT Host 1, as the names have to be unique and it put our SDNP device on top of that or inside of that DT host. Over on the workspace tab, you can now see the device that has been created. But if you needed to create more than one device at a time, you would go through the similar process. You would just address a tab that we didn't look into. You would right click, manage, add, DNP, outstations. And then you would go configure your device again. I'm gonna increase the port this time, just so we don't have a overlapping port problem. Then you would go to the multiple devices tab. From here you would select create multiple outstations and you'll see it defaults to one and that's the configuration information for our first uh, DNP outstation for this configuration. You can increase this and you'll create more instances of the device as you can see here. By default we increase the port number to make sure they all have unique configuration information. When you hit OK now it will create all the devices that you asked for and it will put them on the host that you set. Now these devices are up and ready to be connected to. If I wanted to connect to these devices, I could right click, manage, add DNP masters this time, and I could go straight to the multiple device tab and create six of these guys. Now, as you can see, I have created six masters and six outstations, and as mentioned in the previous video, all of the little Wi-Fi indicators have gone green as they have had the correct configurations to communicate. In your system, you'll probably not want to simulate both the outstations and the masters in DTM, but while learning about the system, feel free to do it. In the second part of this video, we're going to be talking about a 61850 specific feature. This is Import Substation. This allows you to pull in devices directly from an SCD file all at once. To do this, you'll go to File, Import Substation, 
then you'll be presented with which configuration file you would like to use. If it's already in your resource tab, you could just choose it here under this editor. If not, you can browse for it using import configuration. I'm going to use substation to see. After you hit OK, you will be prompted with the substation browser. From here, you can drag and drop any of the devices you want. So if I wanted this first one, I can drag and drop it onto the node I'd like. Another thing you can do is you can change the configuration to match your system. This can be done either manually by clicking and choosing an option that you'd like for the port number or the IP address, or if you'd like to do it all at once, you can click shift click to multi-select and come down to the group edit. You can choose what host you'd like to put it on and what IP address you'd like it to use. After you've selected the configurations you like, you can click apply and it will change all the selected values. Again, from here, you can drag and drop it onto the node you like and it will instance these devices. This is a very quick way to instance all of the devices that you need from an SCD file.